session. Hi, Chennai. Good to see you. Why are we doing this? Because CMAT is just around the corner. Okay. Many of you are going to take CMAT. Even if you're not going to take CMAT, it's okay. I mean, uh, this session or this series is going to help you phenomenally because we are going to discuss grammar and vocab. These two are very, very important for CMAT, NMAT, SNAP, ZAT. Okay, like basically all the other management entrance tests besides CAT. They are quite heavy on vocab and grammar. So if you learn these points with me in these classes, definitely this will help you a lot. All right, guys. So if you're ready, we can get started. Shall we? And Jang Jaw, please. No sleeping in the class. Yes, Sakshi? Pranali and Arnav, whatever we are going to study now will help you in IPMAT also. Chalo, guys. We are going to take up closed passages first. What are closed passages, Manas? Hi, Sonali. What are closed passages? Are they closed? Mm -hmm. Are they band? Small? OK. They are actually paragraphs with a lot of fill in the blanks. Here. OK. This depends a lot on vocab and grammar. Which tests give you this? Almost every test, except CAT and ZAT. ZAT is tarani dega, but whatever you're going to learn with me can appear in ZAT in some other format. Okay, Chalo, let's take a look at the first paragraph that I have for you. There are five blanks. One, two, three, four, five. Please do not go and start looking for the answer. First, I want you to give this a reading. Okay. From here to here, read and try to understand the crux, tone, and flow. Come on, guys. He was a Kesa reader, big reader, small reader, okay, and would pore over books, right? Dash a wide range of interest as dash he as he got them. He had dash a standing order to two bookshops, dash city. Try to fill in some words even before you reach the options. That helps you a lot in such questions. Chalo, gone through the paragraph. Shall we do the poll for this one? Everyone, everyone, everyone. Yeah. Hmm. This here can be A or an. All right. Either. Pole. What's the meaning of voracious? Generally, we say voracious eater. Voracious is greedy. Somebody who's not satisfied with a, a little amount. Okay. So voracious means greedy. Avid also means very eager, kind of greedy. This is eager. So the usage is voracious eater. With avid, we generally use avid reader, avid learner, avid traveler. Okay, somebody who's very eager to do something. Voracious is more associated with food, with eating, with shopping. Anxious, you know very well, why, but why would you pick anxious reader? He was an anxious reader and would pore over books. Anxious is as if he's trying to complete his thesis. 
and he's not able to get the data. Enthusiastic, kafi excited, kafi keen. He was an enthusiastic reader. The best word out of the four is avid. Cool. Okay, next. Would pour over books. Please learn this phrase. Pour over means read a lot in detail. Yeah, interest ki jage, it should be topics. I'm starting the poll. Good. How can anyone pick barring? That means you don't know the meaning of barring, guys. Barring is what? Stopping somebody, prohibiting somebody. Prohibiting. Yes, it is covering, of course, covering a wide range of topics, covering a wide range of uh, subjects. OK, this next. As dash as he got them. Hi, Tejas, good evening. We just started. Poll. Good. Chalo. Ye to sabko pata tha as soon as he. Good. This may be a mistake. Seriously, guys. Kabi kabi mujhe lagta hai, aap log jaan bujh karke na wrong karte ho. Just to see the fun as soon as okay next order ko kya karega hi ayush poll Guys, how can you offer a standing order? How? You offer some food. You offer suggestions. How can you offer a standing order? Standing order go, you give a standing order or you issue a standing order. Plus, intimate, intimated is informed somebody. So you don't inform a standing order. This is out. This, uh, sorry, proclaim offered is out. It's between proclaimed and given. Proclaim is to announce. I proclaim you my successor. I proclaim you my uh, mentor. I'm announcing something. I'm letting the world know something. That is proclaim. He was proclaimed the king. How can this be with a standing order? Not possible. So the only one here is given. Otherwise, you can also use issue. Okay, issue a standing order. The last one. Yeah, it should be the. Ready for the poll? Yes. Good. See, 
why can't it be within the city? Not possible. Inside the way, see, out inside the city, kya? Inside is like something enclosed inside the room, inside the chamber. Within or in Sakshi, I'll give you the difference. Within is where there are boundaries. Like you're talking about something that has boundaries, something beyond which you're not supposed to go. Stay in your limits or stay within your limits. The, the troops or the soldiers stayed within the frontiers or the boundary. So here there is no such, um, no such meaning that they are talking about frontiers or boundary or anything. So it should be bookshops normal in the city. Okay. The level goes up. Chalo, next paragraph. First, I want you all to read this paragraph and try to come up with some options for all the blanks that are there. Then I'll show you the options. You can also put this word avid, an avid bird watcher. But in the options, you have some other words. I hope you're ready for the poll for the first one. Hmm. Poll. Okay. In this, I knew there would be confusion. You're talking about a bird watcher who can simply look at certain things and almost exactly he would know what, what birds are going to come there. So it will be either experienced or expert. No need for advanced. What is an advanced bird watcher? Nothing. Active bird watcher? Not exactly. You need somebody with experience to just look at the scenario and guess or tell what birds are coming there. So it's expert or experienced. Here we'll go with expert. Chalo, next. It's more with the usage manners. So here we are talking about a bird watcher who knows everything. can look at what? Good. Which one did I mark? Wait. No, no, no. The answer has to be this. Look at a. Oh. It cannot be the. Sorry, that was by mistake. Yeah, yeah, it is C. Each species has its special place or habitat. An expert bird watcher can simply look at a forest, meadow, lake, swamp, or field. You're not talking about a specific one. You are simply talking about any. You know, an expert bird watcher can just look at a field, look at a forest, look at a meadow. And he can guess or he can tell you. Okay, so it has to be a uh, next. Q. 
here you simply have to eliminate ye nahi ye nahi ye nahi all great this one was clear right sakshi samart sonia pranali manas good he can predict exactly usko kaun si birds wahan milne wali hai ya kaun si dikhne wali hai what birds he dash find there pol ah might if you go with might you cannot predict exactly you know what the meaning is of might if i say it might rain tomorrow that means maybe 10% a very small chance of something happening so if you are saying and predict almost exactly what birds he might no what birds he will or what what birds he would find there either will or would cool you understood the meaning of might everyone people who made a mistake okay cool next all An academy. Let's crack it.